If in dogs there was a breed preferred by the old royalty, which is the Pomeranian, in cats too, it is the Persian cat. And it is not surprising, Persian cats have abundant and luxurious coats, as well as a somewhat regal personality. They are elegant looking cats and very cuddly. Due to their peculiarities, they require a little extra attention. Do you want to know more about Persian cats? Today, we'll check out Persian Cat Breed, everything you need to know. Number 9. Brief History of Persian Cats It may surprise you, but the Persian Cat is one of the oldest cat breeds, coming to be seen in the hieroglyphs from 1684 BC. They are called Persians because they were brought to Europe from Persia, modern Iran in the early 17th century. Still, doubts remain as to where they originated. These long-haired cats became royal favorites, such as Queen Victoria. Persian is still today one of the most popular cat breeds. They are gentle and sweet, and have a somewhat princely personality. They usually spend their time lying on a pillow, on the sofa, or on their owner's lap as if they were sitting on a throne. Number 8. Appearance There's no mistaking a Persian cat when you see one. These iconic felines are well known for their thick fur coats, large eyes, and stocky bodies. But there's one characteristic that immediately comes to mind when you think about a Persian's appearance. Their cute, smushy faces. These cats are a medium-sized breed, with female Persians weighing between 7 to 10 pounds, and males at a slightly larger 9 to 13 pounds. That long, luscious Persian coat comes in a host of colors, including orange, gray, and cream, and their eyes are typically a brilliant copper, green, hazel, or blue. Over the years, two forms of Persian cat have emerged the show and the traditional also known as the doll face. Show Persians, also called peaky face, because they resemble Pekingese dogs, generally have flatter faces, smaller ears, thicker coats, and larger eyes than the traditional. Doll face Persian cats have less pronounced features and more closely resemble the first recorded images of the breed. But whether your kitty is a peaky face or doll face, both share the same sweet demeanor and require daily brushing to keep their long coats from matting. 7. Temperament Persians are as sweet as they are stylish. These quiet, elegant beauties are walking love sponges whose main purpose in life is to adore you and be adored in return. Every cat is an individual, which means that the individual cat might not exhibit the temperament attributed to Persians, says Marilyn Krieger, certified cat behavior consultant in San Francisco. Generally speaking, Persian cats are known to be low-key, social, and affectionate cats who love to be next to their person, petted and cuddled. Persians are happy and curious cats, but they won't drive you crazy nosing around your home looking for cups of water to knock over. Plus, Persian cats are solidly built, so they're unlikely to attempt climbing the curtains. You're most likely to find them napping on the comfiest cushion they can find. They also get along with everyone, including dogs, as long as they are socialized when young. Persians are energetic enough to enjoy cat toys and games, but don't need constant entertainment to keep them happy. 6. Caring for a Persian Cat This breed takes some work compared to most cats. In particular, the care must be directed at their coat since it is usually long and abundant. It is important to brush them daily and bathe them regularly to keep them looking clean. For this reason, we advise you to introduce them to the bathroom as soon as possible to make this experience a regular one for them. They tend to be low-energy animals that love affection and the quiet and security of home. Be aware Persian cats are quite picky eaters. Persians have trouble picking up small food and those that have an X shape. The fact Persians are indoor cats puts them at risk for calcium oxalate urolithiasis, 
which are very painful bladder stones. Feeding your cat the one type of food all the time can increase their risk for getting the stones, so it can be a good idea to mix up their food a little bit and swap them around every so often. They are at an increased risk for bladder stones too when they are given just one food. Some foods are specially made for those who are prone to hairballs, offer extra nutrients or food for those kitties that need an easy to chew type food. It can help to monitor your cat eating when you are feeding dry food to make sure there are no difficulties eating the type of food you have supplied. 5. Living Needs Perhaps Persians' most distinctive feature is their fur, which is long and soft. And to keep their lustrous coats healthy, it requires active maintenance on the part of the cat's owner. Persian cats require daily grooming, and not just a once-over. You have to be diligent to remove knots and other debris from their fur because they can't do it on their own. Their fur needs to be brushed regularly and begin as early as possible. Use a comb every day to remove excess hair dirt and also knots. Check if the cat has fleas, unusual lumps, and wounds. Do this slowly to avoid pulling the hair mats, which causes pain. Groom the coat depending on the length of the hair. Use a tooth glove for short-haired cats and a long tooth metal comb for the long-haired cats. Ensure that you comb gently to avoid scratching the skin. If you want to bathe the cat, use formulated soap after consulting the vet. To prevent water from getting into the eyes, you can use cotton balls. Although they may look like fashion models, Persian cat care doesn't involve any fancy accommodations. In fact, this medium energy breed will be equally happy in a tiny apartment or large home. Like other cats, Persians will enjoy a cat tree to climb on. But depending on your individual pet, it might not be necessary. Not all of these felines are all that athletic, and some Persians might want to keep all four paws firmly on the ground or on the couch. They do, however, enjoy lying in a sunny window so adding a cozy perch or two will allow your kitty to chatter at birds in comfort. Because they have such sweet personalities, Persian cats make great pets for all members of the family, especially seniors and older children. If there's a comfortable lap around, your Persian will find it. As a general rule, Persians also get along well with dogs and fellow felines. And while your Persian will be fine left to her own devices while you're at work, as long as she has toys and things to scratch for enrichment, she shouldn't be left alone for extended periods of time. 4. Varieties of Persian Cats Although the most typical Persian cat is the white one with blue eyes, there are many other varieties. For example, Blue Persians. A very peculiar bluish-gray is one of the most desired among cat lovers. Another of the most spectacular for its color is the Persian Brown. Regarding the size, the current Persians have a medium or large size. They are robust with short and wide legs. If you're up for the challenge of daily grooming and frequent bathing, the long-haired Persian is the breed of cat you were looking for. Regardless of the coat colors you chose, these cats are adorable both inside and out. No wonder people fall in love with his small ears, soft hair, and flat face. 3. Health The typical Persian lifespan is 10 to 15 years. As with any breed, Persian cats are susceptible to certain health problems, and they do have a number of potential genetic health issues that potential owners need to be aware of. Two common ailments in Persian cats include progressive retinal atrophy (PRA) and polycystic kidney disease (PKD). PKD is an inherited disorder that causes small, liquid-filled sacs in the kidney tissue that grow and multiply over time, eventually leading to kidney failure. PRA is the genetic eye disease in cats where the cells of the retina deteriorate over time and eventually lead to blindness. Eye and dental problems are also an issue for Persian cats, according to the American Animal Hospital Association, especially those with flatter faces and short jaws. 
regular attention to these areas will help keep your cat in better health. And like other cat breeds, Persian cats should be spayed and neutered and should never free roam outside without close supervision. Number 2. Owning a Persian Cat Remember that a Persian cat, no matter how beautiful it is, does not live to participate in exhibitions. Taking care of him will be all you need to be happy. Be sure to control the possible health problems that we tell you about in this article. Monitor his kidney condition and take him to the vet regularly to be able to prevent any type of disease. If it is your first Persian and you have doubts about the daily hygiene of your cat, you can also ask veterinary professionals as they will help you and offer advice on what you need. Number 1. Fun Facts Besides Queen Victoria, Persian cats have always had adoring fans from all walks of life. English statistician Florence Nightingale is reported to have had over 60 cats in her lifetime, including many Persians. Other past and present Persian cat fans include Martha Stewart, Giorgio Armani, Elizabeth Taylor, and Freddie Mercury. One of the most famous cinematic Persian cats was Mr. Tinkles, who appeared in the 2001 movie Cats and Dogs. This villainous character was voiced by Sean Hayes and appeared in the 2010 sequel Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. Do let us know in the comment if you're thinking about adopting this cutest breed. Please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.